Hi everyone, Neil Carlson here in downtown Ada, Minnesota in front of the theater yep. where a new documentary by Richard Tuttle is soon to premiere. Yes. What's the name of it? What's it about? It's called Come Hell in High Water and it's in uh, commemoration of the 20th anniversary of the flood of 1997. All right. Well, let's take a quick look at that uh, right now. Here's a qu uh, quick clip. Now, Ada Bora music instructor Richard Tuttle is working to commemorate the community's resolve and rebirth after catastrophic devastation from the historic flood of 97 in the documentary film Come Hell and High Water. Okay, back with Richard Tuttle in downtown Ada, the uh, documentary maker of Come Hell and High Water. So what, what inspired you to do this? Well, uh, my youngest uh, stepson is... I was explaining the flood to him, and he, you know, was just blank. And I, and I suddenly realized that hey, a whole generation has gone by, and they don't really know the story. And so I thought we need to preserve, to preserve our story. So that's pretty much what, what did it. And so I had a, a young man write us a piece for band and choir called "Come Hell and High Water," and um, and then we performed the concert on the 10th of May. And that's part of our documentary. And then we've interviewed people who were there. Okay. All right. And so, and you've got a red carpet event kicking this right. all off. When and where? Can people go to it, everyone? Or? Well, the, the red carpet event is kind of a VIP event. I use that to raise money for the, uh, well, I hate his hustling and bustling thing. <laughs> so with the, the red carpet, we use that to help raise money for our documentary. And so that was... Um, we're pretty much booked for that. That was limited to 50 people, but we're going to premiere that on Thursday, the 22nd, during the fair. And um, but there's also another event where they'll show at the at the movie theater, where people who have donated $50 or more okay. they can come in. And then after the fair, we're going to be offering this. Uh, I, I'm going to upload it online to YouTube so people can watch it for free, okay. or for those who want to order a DVD, they can get it at cost. All right. Um, what kind of reaction have you gotten from people who have seen it? Or nobody's seen the whole thing? Nobody's seen the whole thing. So that, that's what's a little, a little tricky about raising money for a documentary that you know, no one yeah. can see. But those who saw the concert just really loved it. Okay. Really loved it. It was, it was a neat... Uh, we, had, we had musicians from, I think, 13 different communities right. that came together to put on that concert. Okay, and they're all integrated into this documentary yep. about the flood. Yep, because there's like three chapters to the flood. So we open with uh, about 15 minutes of people sharing their story who were there. Okay. And then, then there's the concert. And then the composer also made a video using um, different footage that he found. Okay. So he was able to, to put together a really cool, cool video. All right. Well, we'll keep you updated and uh, give you a link of where you can find all this on, yep. on, online. In downtown Ada, Minnesota, I'm Neil Carlson reporting for inews.tv.